Welcome to Worms and Warriors, and welcome to Ultimate General Civil War. The in-game date is the 6th of April, 1862, and that can mean only one thing. It's time for the Battle of Shiloh. Before we get there, though, we are on the army camp, and we're going to fill up some of these brigades who suffered casualties in the last battle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll talk through some of the changes. One of the problems we've got here is that we don't have enough weapons to go around, so I'm going to do the best I can with what I've got available. All right, well, there we go then. <clears throat> we've got Worms' as first corps, up to 16,070 men with 33 guns, that being 15,200 infantry, 825 artillerymen, 750 cav, and 12 brigades. We've got Avril with 1,539 men, armed with palmatos, Kemper, with Mississippi rifles maxed out at 2,000. I think we're probably going to need these men uh, because it's a huge battle coming up here. Um, we've also got Tom Preston here armed with Lawrence's and 2,000 men. Then we've got Hoffman now up to 15 guns. They're Napoleon's, 12 pounds smooth balls. Uh, Douglas with Mississippi rifle armed, 90, 1994 men. Uh, 1,827 men here under Barnes. This is as high as we can go before his efficiency dropped, I think. Let me just check, because that looks a strange number. I don't know. Maybe I just ran out of weapons. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to knock in an extra 21 men. So, and that's all the weapons we have there. 21 left. Okay, so that's a few more. A little handful of extra men. Uh, that's Bernie here. 750 carve. Colonel Bernie. Looking all right. 12, 12 pound howitzers. I was going to stick more in, but it starts dropping the efficiency if we do more than 12 guns, because he's only a major. Uh, then we've got Siegfried here with 1,840, which is maxed out for the efficiency. It can't go any higher, or he starts dropping down. I don't like that. Uh, then we have Darden with 2,000 men. He's a full colonel, and they're armed with muskets, 1,842s. Again, 2,000 musket armed, 1,842 men here as well. Under Walton, they're backed up by six 24-pound howitzers. So... This is where we're at. This is going to be a tough fight here for us. We could spend some money to get some other rifles or a new commander, but I, th I think we're fine just to roll with what we've got. We're going to keep that stuff in the bank, and we're going to have the extra morale benefit for having 46 reputation points. I've stuck an extra couple of thousand into supplies. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the battle map. Now, I've got about an hour spare to fight this battle. Hopefully, I can get it done. If not, I might have to do this in two parts. If you can hear a noise in the background, then I do apologise. It's a fan going. It's really hot here. So, for a victory, we will get $165,200, 14,400 recruits, and 10 reputation points. Uh, for a draw, 132,200. I mean, we're probably aiming for a draw with... The, I mean, hopefully we can get a victory, but uh, a draw we could do with... And Shil Shiloh's a difficult battle. Huh? A draw still sees us drawing in some pretty good points, uh, some pretty good recruits and money numbers, and we still get an extra point, but if we get defeated, I mean, that's not good. We're going to lose 15 reputation points, 11,100 men only, and $99,000. Um, you successfully ambushed the Union Convoy, so minus 10% enemy weapons quality, and minus 5% enemy army size. The estimated is 41 to 46,000. Um, we've only got pretty low reconnaissance scores. So anyway, let's get on with this. It's been a little while since I've played this battle, but I remember it being a tough one. Okay, then, yeah, so we can have up to 20,000 men going in. Uh, okay, so Union, 53,375, 154 guns. Now, with our troops put in here, 41,632. Now, on the day, I think the numbers were a little different to this. Uh, on the first day, I think the Union had maybe 45,000 or so. The Confederacy, probably around this number, but, you know, I don't know. We'll see where we'll go, I suppose. General Grant has transported his army via the Tennessee River to this location, Pittsburgh Landing, and is preparing to advance further south. We're going to attack at dawn, when they will least expect us. Our corps will arrive from the southwest. The Yankees are encamped and have most of their forces here. If we attack swiftly, we may catch them completely unguarded and capture their supplies. Yeah, I doubt that. The slight ridge at Shiloh Church creates a formidable natural defence and should be seized to secure our left flank. On the right, we have to overcome this hilly terrain and then we can safely proceed to the north. Yeah. The Union defence is expected here, uh, the last Union defence is expected here, sorry, at Pittsburgh Landing. Watch for enemy gunboats on the Tennessee River that can bombard from long distances. This is, yeah. 
Sir, our army is starting to advance towards the Union camp. Our first objective is to overrun the right flank near Shiloh Church. The Yankees are currently encamped and surely will not expect our presence. If we advance swiftly, we're going to have an easy job pushing them north. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy. You have the advantage. Move fast and destroy them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, who's coming in here? Bass with these 12-pounders. Um, I'm, sure I'm going to switch them out. We're going to put this, the 24-pound guys in here. I'm not sure if that's a mistake, maybe, but we'll see. Hoffman, yeah, you can stay there. So we've got a mix of musket and rifle arm troops, and that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, Carve, though. I don't, do we need Carve here? Maybe. They might come in handy. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave the Carve, and I'm going to add this infantry in instead. Walton. 2,000 men. I think that's probably better. All right. So we're going to drop off skirmishers. We're going to press up here. Let's see what we can get done. Let's start the battle. Let's pause it straight away. Let's get the skirmishers out. I think we're probably going to get the majority of skirmishers out. You know what? Let's get all skirmishers. It means we've got guys we can put on the flanks. It means we can give pressure to other places. We can watch bits and pieces. <laughs> All right, let's see how this is going to go. I'd be lying if I said I was excited about this battle. I think it's a it's a bit of a nightmare battle this one, but it's one we've got to get done. Let's keep an eye on the enemy. Yeah, skirmishers there straight away. And more skirmishers all over the place. Skirmishers. more there you see this is why we have a skirmisher screen so we discover all those guys maybe bringing the cavalry would have been a good idea because they could sweep these skirmishers off the field well I'll know for next time if I ever play it again <laughs> I think Douglas' skirmish has had a pretty easy run all the way up here. One of their full brigades. And then the one Peabody right there. Oop, Hoffman is the one Lippert. Let's bring him further up. Dowell's Brigade up here as well. Come on, boys. Press on. Kill them all. Yeah. Get rid of these damn skirmishers. Yeah, I can't help but think cavalry would have been quite handy, actually. The second wave arrives. Hey, Bernie's here. Okay. Let's see if we can get that carv into action. Let's get Bass up here as well. Mm. 
Not a huge amount of time left in the scenario either. Okay, the skirmishers are routed. Nice. Can I hear enemy cavalry? Is that our cavalry doing that? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, nice. That's Hildebrand gone. Let's press straight on here. No time. Oh, no, that was their cavalry. Shit. <laughs> We're wasting no time here. We're going to... No messing about at all. Come on, Bernie. After them. I'm not going to burn you out now. We are coming up to the Shiloh Church. Buckland to try and take the Shadow Church back. Tough fight. Union secures it. Not really. Nice. 
If we can push Buckland away, we'll advance a little further. There he goes. Avril back here as a reserve. Walton too. We don't need them engaged if we don't need to. Guns up there are a problem though. Let's move Bernie across. See if we can charge up the light brigade he's arse. well for Douglas's skirmishes. Brigades of McClure's di division have arrived, okay. Buckland's pushing down again. We're okay though. Send some of these skirmishers up on in these woods. Oh, onto the next section of the battle. Attack the Union right. Our last corps are now arriving to attack the Union center and left. Okay. Ah. General, our attackers alerted the enemy to our presence. <laughs> yeah, do you think? We must act swiftly. The Federals are building a defensive line and will soon occupy a very strong position. This will be Bragg and Breckenridge arriving, I think. The centre of the Union Army is currently controlled from this location. Push forward and take it. So these guys won't be our own men, so they're a little bit more expendable, which, you know, I can live with. Their left flank must also be secured. It should be lighter defended, as our pickets reported. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it won't be. Advance and attack your flanks, General. Uh, watch your flanks, General. The Union Army may counterattack from behind those woods. Uh, what? One brigade? Oh, no. I was just about to say, what the hell? Uh, the guys are coming on here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Bragg's core, I thought it would be. Okay, let's get them guys straight up there. What guns have we got? 12 pound Napoleons, nice. General Bragg at your service, sir. Ready to break the Union left. Uh, go on then, Bragg. Put that uni brow into action. Uh, again, actually, let's get some skirms out. Nice big brigades as well. That's handy. Enemy skirmishers. Enemy cav. We've got cars as well, well, mounted infantry kind of style ones. That's okay though. Let's get Anderson up there. Let's get Beal up there. Not sure if we get more troops here, but if not, it's going to be pretty tough to take these two places, I think.
Here they go. Oop, a full brigade there. Last remaining reserves arrived, General Breckenridge and the reserve call. Okay. Ah, here they come. Up you go, boys. Captured Spain field, there's, there's troops up here. Managed to send him running. Nice. And we've moved Hodgson's guns up. He's close support. Feels like things are going well. I don't want to jinx it or anything like that, but it feels like it's going pretty well. Uh, Trabe. Tribute? Traub? Not sure. He's coming up. Almost 3,000 men there. Excellent. Press on, men. Hurlbut's division is heading to support the camps in Spainfield. Okay, all right. Yeah, he's got some skirmishers up there to slow those guys down. Pond could be in trouble, though. Something about the Shiloh Church there. The Union's resistance is stronger than expected. Their troops are preparing for a counterattack. We must hold Shiloh Church to keep their right flank under pressure. Don't fail us, General, or we will have to withdraw. All right. Ooh, more troops. I feel quite confident here. This is a you know, decent position. I think filling these woods with skirmishes is a good idea. Fire. 
Those 12 pound smooth balls are not amazing. General Grant spotted. He came to see his army being destroyed. Give out some ammunition to the guns, I think. Let's stop giving the infantry. We don't need to do that just now. Keep that skirmish and pressure. Very effective, these uh, 24 pound howitzers. Some counter battery fire with those guns. Hoffman can carry on firing at those guys. Not making much of an effort to counter attack, but we've got half an hour. Skirmishers have drawn most of the artillery fire, and that's absolutely fine. Oh, that was really well done, actually. waste men and time and effort to deal with the skirmishes there. Devil Carb. I think they're actually kind of pulling back, aren't they? Grant coming forward by himself. But he's destroying that cavalry. So I'm going to keep him there anyway. For now. Uh, maybe not. Go. Get out. 
Come on, Bernie, get out of there. Well, he doesn't fancy it. Now he's done for. Well, did an okay job, I suppose. The Yankees are dug in at the Hornet's Nest. The Blue Coats are establishing a second barrier of defence. They are desperate to hold on their position. Surround them and give them hell, yeah. You must overrun the Union defence in order to secure a path to Pittsburgh's landing. Okay. If you fail, our whole offensive will become disorganized and collapse. Oh, no pressure there now. Eh? Oh, this Walton Scrimmage is from the other side. <laughs> Rear flanked. What? Are we seriously going to have those dudes running around in our rear? There was millions of them. Skirmishes have surrendered. Come on, boys. This is not started off very well, has it? This is a pain in the butt, though. Hey, what are you supposed to do with this? Why is Stuart not surrendered? He's going to be, be 1,500 men in all here. This is stupid. Yeah, let's press on. I'm going to have to leave a whole brigade back here to deal with them. frustrating
Paul chucks in Dunkel forward. Checking this at the bottom here. Anyway, it's keeping them busy. It's okay. This is a hell of a fight. Uh, troll skirmishes and I'm going to send them off to the left to help out. Crazy. We keep pressing for Pushing forward. Let's just see what's happening down here. Still firing it out. Waste of time. Drops killed. Damn it. 
fighting hard and we're pressing hard. So the second Federal Force here, or is it just the guys who were out it? I'm sure we'll be seeing a counter attack. It's still two hours in the timer. back now as well. Oh, it's trouble for it. Didn't help his commanders uh, kill. Grant dotting around here with the camera. Oh, 348 kills for Hodgson and his guns. Oh, a easy fight. There's 900 men that hold on to these woods. The hornet's nest. Jackson's going in. Well, I think it's gone quite well. Advanced to Pittsburgh Landing. General Grant is establishing his last line of defense at Pittsburgh Landing. Don't hesitate. Attack and this, uh, victory will be ours. Okay. Let's keep pressing then. The ironclads USS Tyler and USS Lexington have been spotted off the banks of Pittsburgh Landing at present threat to our right flank. Is that why not to get too close to them? Yeah. Martin's right next to them. Oh, Bernie's been killed. Oh, hang on. So, is this. Oh, we've got the whole map now. Right. Press on, boys.
guns in there. Presumably it'll be reasonably heavy to defend it. Us to push into this. Not only that, but we're starting to run low on ammunition. Yeah, let's see some fire in or charging or something. Oh, he's got no condition. That's why. Damn it. See another supply wagon anyway, only this one. This is crazy.
Oh, Martin's done. Shit. As if this would happen. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take this on the first day. Right. Should never have pressed for this attack. We should just let this run to the counter attack the next day. Because there's no way we're capturing this in an hour and a half. Wasted all these men. Damn it. And no doubt we don't get more supplies overnight, which is pretty annoying. chance of hell we're taking this place. Martin's still being butchered up here, down to 800 men now. Freaking ridiculous. guys are pretty much out of ammunition. Their cavalry surrendered after chase now, man. Oh, I don't know. Well, you know, never mind. the last hour. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this. Oh, he's stuck here, is he? Unbelievable. Secure Pittsburgh landing apparently, but uh, 
I can't see it lasting. What the god fuck are Come on, let's get it back. Push up. Now is the time for heroes. <laughs> no chance. Get up there. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Loading so slow because we've got no ammunition. You dare advance. Why he did?
<laughs> this is such a hard fight. A minute left on it. I don't know if we're going to do it. I wonder if they're going to push back just the last minute. Victory. So I think we won this on the first day. Crazy casualty numbers. 20,000 for the Union. 11,000 for us. What a crazy, crazy, crazy long, bizarre fight. 1,700 kills for Jackson. 1,700 kills for Anderson and Gibson as well. Who lost the most? Williams, one of their guys. Martin, these guys that were up the top corner. Luckily not one of ours. Bernie, deceased. Uh, Leonard Bolton, gone up to Colonel. Barnes, up to Colonel. Trawby wasn't one of ours. I'm not sure which one of these guys were ours, actually. Um, Chalmers. Don't think any of these guys were, really. I mean, some of them were, obviously. Robertson, I think he was one of ours. He's a major now. I think most of these guys were AI-controlled. What do we capture? Some Sharps, 1855s. 1855 Colts, 300 and... Recovered 200 of them, 20 howitzers, a few thousand 1842s, recovered some Mississippis and some Lawrence's, Palmettos, captured some Napoleons, <laughs> rescued a bunch of this crap weapons. All right, well, I mean, not amazing haul, but uh, a good victory. And in the first day, it feels pretty good. We got Albert Sidney Johnson, uh, Army Organization plus one, and Forrest with his cavalry, I think. Nice. And we got an extra few recruits. 10 reputation points, 2 career points, $161,000 and 14,000 recruits. Whoa. Ah, there. Forest Cavalry. Nathan Forrest. Nice. 300 of them. Cool. Fully perked out as well. Shock Cavalry. Shooting training. And endurance. Nice. So what we're going to go with here is... We're going to ram one more into reconnaissance. Gets us a bit more information. And we're going to stick one into medicine. So some of our wounded guys are going to recover. Only 2%, but you know, that all adds up. And we've got Albert Sidney Johnson available to be in charge of our second core. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it right here, actually. Well, let's do the upgrades first, and then we'll leave it. Um... I'm going to go with the ammunition, logist logistics, I always like that for the calf, for the artillery, sorry. Nice. Bernie, deceased, unfortunately. Going to put Major Morris in charge of that for now. Maybe we'll, we'll probably shift here about a little bit. But we're going to open up the second core in the next episode. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade some weapons. We've got 56 reputation points, so we could go ahead and... Do something with those. Maybe get some Enfields there. Two and a half thousand of them. Or some parrots. That'd be nice. Beauregard's available. Uh, Whitworth rifles with telescopes. There are some options here for sure. Um, we'll have a look at the next episode. I think that was a fairly epic battle that I quite enjoyed. It was. Uh, it felt like it was a long one. I'm not sure how long I actually recorded for. But it, it was good. Good fun. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of it, and I'll hopefully see you in the next episode. It'd be great if some of you guys would subscribe. Ta-ra for now. Have a great day.